10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Jungle. Ladies and gentlemen, students, parents and friends, welcome to the first commencement exercises of Dominic Institute of Science and Technology. We mark this day's activity as another important event in the history of DIST. Looking back, DIST has now gone far in the field of education and training. Now, let us all welcome the candidates for graduation, the faculty members, the administrative officers, the board of directors, and our guests. Let us all take part and share in this moment of truth and fulfillment with the DIST graduating class of 2019-2020. Let us give their entrance a reverberating applause. Candidates of graduation from the Humanities and Social Sciences strand. And the candidates for graduation from the General Academic strand. Ladies and gentlemen, the DIST faculty members. May we request everybody to please rise for the entrance of callers.
mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Please remain standing for the invocation. Let us all be seated and for the graduation's opening remarks, let us all welcome the school principal, Ms. Zinia Runyola. Today, the president of our school, Dr. Dominic Orhalo, the faculty and staff of our school, the Dominic Institute of Science and Technology, Welcome to you, the parents, who have great sacrifices for their children. To the graduating class of 2020, have burned your candles with uh, hard work and perseverance. You have done the first step to the completion of your dreams. Although hampered by a pandemic, this day is a memorable day to each and every one. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Zinia Brunola, our school principal. In any commencement exercise, guest speaker is very essential. He is supposed to convey words and ideas of inspiration and encouragement. However, the present situation changes everything in every graduation that we normally see. Instead of a guest speaker, the DIST administration decided to play instead a special message of our Department of Education Secretary, Leonor Antonis Briones. Along this line, we gladly invite everyone to listen to her special message, the graduating class 2019-2020. Sa ngalan ng Department of Education, ang ating mga opisyales, members ng Executive Committee, members ng um, ANCOM, ang Management Committee, 
saan naroroon ang mga regional directors at mga superintendents, uh, mga supervisors, ating mga central office directors, at uh, pinaka-importante, mga principals sa mga teachers. Kami lahat ay tuwang-tuwa na natapos na rin ninyo ang mga uh, pangangailangan para magiging considered na kayo na graduates of class 2020. Uh, kayo ay isa-isa kong kinokongratulate. Uh, sayang, hindi ko naman kayo pwedeng maka-shake hands o pwedeng mangitian ng personal. Pero uh, yung ating uh, magandang uh, asal, yung ating magandang uh, pagtingin sa isa't isa sa inyo, nandoon pa rin. At saka, tuwan-tuwa kami talaga, lalo na ako. Para sa akin, ang graduation ay isa sa pinaka masigla, pinaka masaya na okasyon sa buhay ng isang uh, learner o isang um, estudyante. Pero pinaka masaya din yan para sa teacher pinakamasaya yan sa lahat ng administrators dahil mayroon na namang graduating class na nakakatapos. Uh, kayo ay very special. Special kayo sa parents ninyo. Special kayo sa mga friends, sa mga teachers ninyo, sa community. Special na special kayo, each and every one of you. But you are also special in a different way because you are graduating at the time of COVID-19. Siguro, pag magiging ganap na kayong uh, uh, citizen ng Pilipinas o lumaki na kayo, uh, tumanda na kayo, sasabihin ninyo, ako ay nag-graduate sa panahon ng coronavirus. Ang pag-graduate ninyo ngayon, ay ibang-iba sa pag-graduate ng mga nakauna sa inyo or maybe sa susunod sa inyo. Dahil ito ngayon ay panahon ng coronavirus, so mga adjustments ang ginagawa natin. Hindi pwede tayong magtipon-tipon, hindi pwedeng magkita-kita kayo ng mga parents ng classmates sa ninyo, mga barkada, mga yaya, lolo, lola, at mga parents and teachers, hindi pwedeng mag-ipon-ipon kayo sa isang lugar at this time. Pero marami namang ibang paraan na kayo ay babatiin at para ma-celebrate ninyo itong special na occasion na ito. Uh, ang iba sa inyo ay magkaroon ng virtual graduation tulad ng sa Davao. Uh, congratulations sa inyo. Ang iba naman siguro maghintay kung mayroon ng uh, mas um, friendlier uh, environment, mas friendlier circumstances. At saka, hindi lang ito nangyari sa panahong ito dahil sa COVID. May mga uh, karanasan din ang DepEd. May karanasan din ang ating mga universidad kung saan napupostpone napagpaliban ang graduation. Uh, sa panahon ng mga lola at lolo ninyo, napagpaliban ang graduation dahil yung panahon nyo ng gera. At saka mayroon talaga ng tunay na kalaban na nag-disrupt ng ating mga activities. So at that time, yung mga estudyante, hindi sila nakagraduate. Mayroon namang uh, instance na mayroong malaking mga disasters kaya napupuspong din ang graduation. Kagaya nung nangyari minsan sa UP, dahil napakatindi yung bagyo na tumama sa, sa Manila, sa Central uh, Luzon at sa ibang bahagi ng uh, Luzon. At ang UP hindi nakapagpatuloy sa kanyang graduation. So, ang nangyari, the next na lang ng registrar ang mga estudyante na ikaw ay graduado na. Dadating din ang panahon siguro kung kagustuhan ng inyong mga parents o kagustuhan ng inyong mga teachers or administrators na magkaroon din kayo ng graduation tulad 
ng dati. Pero ang importante ay kayo ay graduado na. Kayo ay pumasa. Kayo ay dumanas sa mahirap na pamamaraan, mga examen, mga ratings, na grado na binigay ng mga teachers ninyo para kayo makonsider talaga na graduate. Ano kaya ang payo na maibigay ko sa inyo sa panahong ito ng COVID-19? Kasi kaiba nga ang sitwasyon ninyo ngayon. Para sa mga elementary school students na mag-move up to, to junior high school, eh, ibang-iba na ang mapuntahan ninyo sa high school. Hindi na yung araw-araw gigisingin kayo, magdala kayo ng baon, uh, at saka makikita ninyo teachers ninyo, at saka yung mga libro, mahawakan ninyo, mahihipon ninyo. Uh, iba na ang uh, pamamaraan dahil uh, ang gagamitin ICT, gagamitin yung mga learning platforms kagaya ng DepEd Commons, ang gagamitin ay ang mga computer, ang tablet, television, at sa radio para matuto kayo. Depende kung anong sitwasyon sa inyong lugar. Para naman sa junior high school na pupunta sa senior high school, baka matuwa kayo kasi nung na-introduce ang senior high school, maraming mga komentaryo, feedback galing sa parents ninyo, galing sa mga eksperto, na sobrang dami yung subjects. Ngayon, na-reduce na natin yung subjects, lalo na sa senior high school, at saka sa iba't ibang baitang. No? So sa junior high school, kayo nag-step nag, nag, uh, up na, uh, ang magiging subjects ninyo sa senior high school, uh, sobrang kunti kaysa dati. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na kunti lang ang malalaman ninyo. Kasi karamihan malalaman din ninyo, marami kayong matutunan sa bahay ninyo, sa pag-aaral ninyo sa learning platforms, at sa kasatulong ng inyong mga magulang, sa inyong lolo at lola, inyong mga mentors sa bahay at sa, ka, sa inyong mga yung sinasabi kong mga tahanan ninyo. So, lesser ang learning competencies para sa senior high school at saka sa ibang grado, pero siguro mas malalim ang matutunan ninyo. Kasi ang pangangailangan ngayon, ma-elementary ka, ma-junior high school ka, o magiging uh, senior high school ka, napapasok na sa universidad, ang pinaka-importante ay yung sinasabi sa batas na critical thinking. Kung may mga problema, kung may mga challenges, kailangan matuto tayo na ito ay ma-analyze, mapag-isipan ng rational, yung sinasabi ko, natin ginagamit ang logic, ginagamit ang analysis, ang kailangan yung collaboration, makipagtulungan ka sa mga classmates mo, sa parents mo, kailangan ng communication, hindi pwede na Uh, ikaw lang mag-isa mag-aaral, magko-communicate ka palagi, but siguro yung sinasabi natin na virtual. Pero ang importante para sa akin, wala yan sa batas, wala yan sa mga libro siguro. Ang importante para sa inyo, sa junior high na magiging senior, sa senior na magiging university, o pupunta sa mga vocational training na nagugustuhan ninyo, eh, ang magiging courageous, magiging brave. Uh, huwag kayong matakot dahil ang mundo na pinupuntahan ninyo ay ibang-iba sa nasanayan ninyo. Hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng inyong mga school, hindi kayo pababayaan mga teachers, hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng ating government na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga paaralan galing sa buwis ng ating mga magulang, at hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng mga magulang ninyo. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. Kaya huwag kayong matakot dahil maraming mga bagong uh, bagay na ituturo sa inyo. Maraming bagong tinatawag nila na challenges na haharapin ninyo. Pero hindi nakakatakot. Dapat ma-excited kayo. Dahil iba na ang inyong pag-aralan. 
iba ng pamamaraan sa pag-aaral at saka siguro maging mas mabuti kayong citizen kaysa aming mga lola, lolo at mami, daddy, ninyo ngayon. So once again, congratulations para sa mag-aakyat from elementary hanggang magpunta na sila sa junior high school. Yung galing sa junior high school na magpupunta sa senior high school at ang senior high school na pupunta na sa vocational, mag-specialized uh, training o magtrabaho o pupunta sa universidad. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It's a new world that you are facing. Siguro, some of you, hindi ako sigurado sa mga elementary uh, students, pero sa mga junior high at saka element, uh, sa senior high, alam niyo yung pelikula ni Alayden. Si Alayden, mayroong magic rug, di ba? Sumasakay sila, naglilipad sila kasama si Fred, Princess Yasmin. At saka ang kinakanta nila, a whole new world. You are now leaving your school, You're entering a whole new world, but do not be afraid because you will not be alone. Your teachers will always be with you. Your government will always see to it that you will be educated. Your family will be with you. And most important, God will be with you. So God be with you. Do not be afraid. These are wonderful times. Congratulations sa isa't isa sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. Two years ago, These students were those whose only interests were probably computer games and Korean boy bands like DDS. I am sure they still are. Now that they have grown and the IST molded them for the industry, they are proficient not only in the basics, but also in the complexities of their chosen strengths in their senior high school education. To present the candidates for graduation for the IST Senior High School Class of 2020, Let me call on DISD Principal, Ms. Zinia Brognola. Dominic A. Ohio, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of the first senior high school program of the school year 2019-2020 of the Dominic Institute of Science and Technology, Incorporated of whom four are boys or male and 18 are female, a total of 22 graduating students broken down as follows. General academic strength or gas, nine. Humanities and social sciences, humans, 13. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements as prescribed by the Department of Education. May I therefore request you to confirm their graduation. Thank you very much, Ms. Zinia Brunola, our school principal. May we also request our new president and school administrator, Mr. Dominic A. Orhalo, to please join us for acceptance and confirmation of the senior high school graduates of school year 2019-2020. Two of the authority vested upon me by the Board of Incorporators of Dominic Institute of Science and Technology, the Academic Council, the Department of Education, and the laws of the Republic of the Philippines I hereby confirm your graduation and declare you graduates. You may now transfer your tassel to your right. Thank you very much, Mr. Ohalo. Two years of hard work, 
two years of struggle, of learning, of sacrificing to secure a future, obtain a goal and achieve a dream. Our dear graduates have worked boundlessly and tirelessly, and their efforts have brought them here, in this place, to experience this momentous event. We now move on to the distribution of diplomas. For the students, this is the most awaited part of the ceremony. Let us begin with the graduates of the Humanities and Social Sciences strand to be followed by the graduates of the General Academic strand.
It has been customary that during graduation rites such as this, the school administration gives out academic and other special awards to deserving students who have shown exemplary performances in both academic and non-academic affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, the pride and happiness that we get in seeing our students graduate is definitely incomparable. This joy that we feel is all the more heightened by the knowledge that they have worked so hard to earn what they are experiencing at this very moment. And so it is with great pride that we present to you the students who have been diligent in their academic undertakings within their two years of stay in DIST and as such have garnered a general average that definitely deserves recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the awardees of the senior high school class of 2020. Once again, congratulations to the awardees. You have definitely made your school proud. Not only the ISD, but your parents and families are very proud of you as well. May we now request our graduates to please rise for the declaration of their pledge of loyalty to be led by Ms. Kalubiran. Pledge of loyalty to the alma mater. We, the graduating class of Dominic Institute of Science and Technology, do solemnly pledge to uphold the honor of our alma mater. With the dignity and loyalty, we will treasure our experience as we take a step to strive hard 
with our strengthened character and skills and vision by our school. With the will and our heart, we will work hard, reaching our dreams, surpassing the obstacles we take to live up to the standard of our alma mater. With sober sense of responsibility, inspired by those who guide us to the right path, we will always be on the side of law, freedom, and justice to serve our nation with pride and joy. With the support of our great friends, the guidance of our beloved parents, and with the grace of our Almighty God, we shall succeed. So help us God. Thank you, Ms. Calibira. You may take your seats. Let us now call Ms. Terrio for the valedictory address. Well, for this speech, I would like to congratulate all graduates of Batch Resident. To our school director, Sir Dominic Arhalo, to our beloved school principal, Mom Jeannie Bernardia, to my teachers, faculty and staff, parents, fellow graduates, friends, and viewers of our virtual graduation, good morning. We already know that because of this pandemic, DepEd and school decided to have a virtual graduation or online graduation, just to make this gift for celebration for class 2020. We can let this pandemic destroy our most memorable ending and to welcome for our new chapter in life. It is an honor to have this privilege on behalf of my fellow graduates to express our heartwarming gratitude to our alma mater and for all persons behind in this wonderful dream. A privilege that I thought it wouldn't happen because of the current situation that affects us most. There is a saying, if there is a will, there is a way. By being innovative of our school, a once in a lifetime moment like this will be treasured. Today, we are here to celebrate the fruit of our hardship and unforgettable experience that we can bring to the next stage of our journey. We have a different stories to tell, different struggles in life, but we have a common goal, which is to make our parents proud, or whatever person may be. Some of us, their parents are there physically, but some are not. But still, because of this endless support, we finally made it. Two years ago, I didn't know what track and strand that I really want to pursue. I am kind of person that go with the flow. I just don't want to stop my study. But a friend of mine invited me to enroll in this school. Unfortunately, when I was officially enrolled, their mind was changed and enrolled to another school. Eventually, I had this kind of philosophy in life. Once I have decided for a thing, I have to stand for it. Our school has a small population. Because of that, even though my parents are apart from us, I still felt like I have a complete family. Our loving teacher treated us like their own child. Also, they can focus each of us and let us showcase our talent. They never made us feel pressure. I can still remember what Sir Dom said. Do not compete, but collaborate. So in our journey, the senior high was full of laughter and activities. Of course, misunderstanding are always there. We have different choices and beliefs that turn into misunderstanding. But at the end of the day, we're still a human who need to understand our imperfection in life. Their tears and laugh, hatred and care that we won't forget in our memories in senior high. To my classmates out there, I want you to all know that I will cherish those memories that help me to grow and I'm always be grateful for the memories that I spend and I will always love you all. In this achievement, I would like to acknowledge and show my gratitude to my teachers, admin of the school, and our beloved school principal. To guide me on this journey, to my teacher who always show their love and support, Mom J.P. Almegan, Mom Rita Camarin, Mrs. Crystal Pasamba Francis, Mom Jess Amistoso, Mom Crystal Bajola, or Ms. Tagapatay ng Wi-Fi, Mom Mia Castigador, my co-army, Mom Hajarama, Ms. Lucia, Mom Rosemary Jean Smith, Sir Richard Perez, Mom Marilyn Perol, and for all the ate in the canteen, thank you sa pautang at panagdag ng ulam. To Sir Dominic Orhalo, the person that's so down to earth, thank you Sir Doms for the opportunity and for believing at your student all the time. To my mamita, Mrs. Zinia Brunalia, you're the most new woman I ever know. And for all the teachers at our school, thank you ma'am and sir. I know that we have to say goodbyes for opening for another chapter, but we won't forget your love and advice that makes you beautiful and wonderful. I also would like to show my gratitude to Bangu Sonyanda and my inspiration 
people might think that Fan Girl are crazy thing teenagers ever had. But tell me honestly, we all experience being a fan girl. I have been an army since I was in grade 9. Of course, at first, you look at their physical appearance. But at last, it's different. I've been fan of BTS because I see their hard work and sacrifices. They are my inspiration. I'm so proud of it because I have seven boys in Korea that I love even they don't know. I might be pathetic to others to love someone who doesn't even know I'm existing. But it's okay as long as they are still for ARMY, I will always be here to love them. And people might think K-pop fans are crazy because how can you guys listen to the music that you don't understand? First thing first, there is a subtitle that's why we understand them. Second, even we don't understand them, we feel the music in our heart. Like everybody said, music isn't a language. Music has its own language and world. That's the reason why I became a K-pop fan. A K-pop fan. Their music inspired and motivate me. Their stories and experiences makes me to dream more. That's why I'm proud to be an army. I'm proud in my teenage life. I have them. Seven amazing men that have different stories and personalities that makes them special and worth it. I always stay to be your shadow who always at your back supporting and loving until the end. Of course, to my mama Maura Tello and Papa Enrique Tello. I hope you are proud of me and I'll always try to be a better daughter. Sorry for my attitude and for being a stubborn daughter. But I always make sure to make you proud and I won't do anything that makes you disappointed. I will always use your hard work and sacrifices to do my best and keep motivated. I want to make your blood and tears will be worth it. Those medals and certificates are for you, Mama and Papa. I love you all. I will be grateful and honored to have a parents like you. And for my brother, Kuya Joshua and Kuya Jefford, I hope you will find your happiness and dreams in life. And for all my tita and titas who always try to guide and help me all the time, Tito Remio, Tita Fe, Tita Teresita, Tita Novem, Tita Franklin, and Lola Emilia. And of course, to my Talo family, Tita Jamilita, Tita Orquita, Tita Raquel, Tita Charlita, and titos and titas are always there. I love you all. And lastly, I will be grateful and thankful for my first love, first person I've been fan of. Thank you, Papa again, for this opportunity and for everything. Before, I always thought that it would be impossible. But when you believe in God, it will be possible. That's why I'm so thankful for everything, for the knowledge and wisdom, for love and for your word. To live and support our game, I can do all things with Christ who strengthen me. Those Words that I hold on to achieve what I have right now. I know you're always there to cry when I'm crying and love when I'm happy. You're my healing buddies. And when I don't have to talk on, you're always there to listen to me. When I'm dull about myself, you're always there to believe in me. You're the only person who accepts me with all of my imperfections. That's why I'm so thankful and grateful to have you in my life. And so for all students out there, I know we have different stories and problems in life, but I just want you to realize that in your motivation and trust in God, you can achieve what you really want. Just like I always said to my junior, walang taong bobos sa estudyanteng masipag at daig pa na masipag ang matalino. So don't lose hope in your dreams and keep fighting until then. Who knows, you might be the next most successful man in the world when you start working and dreaming up. We have to believe to ourselves and trust God to our future. So don't lose hope at your studies. Just like our parents always said, edukasyon lang ang tanging kayamanan na maibibigay ka sa'yo at edukasyon lang ang tanging kayamanan na hindi makukuha sa'yo ng ibang tao. That's why, even what it takes, don't forget what our parents said. And let's finish our studies until the end. Like what Leonardo da Vinci said, learning is the only thing that mind never exhausts never fears, and never regrets. So keep on learning and dreaming until the end. Our life starts with learning and experiencing to grow more as a person. And always remember, new chapter, new stories to be made, and as chapters are be the history that you can look back, but you can come back. So live by the fullest with the limits and enjoy your life with achievement and smile. Again, congratulations, graduates of Batch 2020.
Thank you for the valedictory address, Ms. Tello. We now request our dear graduates to please rise for the singing of your graduation song.